everybody, welcome back to the tutorial series. And in this tutorial, we're going to create our edit view. Now, our last tutorial we created, remember, we created this uh, edit post view. And we, here we had this, the button really didn't look right, and it's because I didn't add the prerequisite button class to uh, the button. So, if you control S and save that back out and refresh this then we have our properly formatted button so that's one of the errors from the previous tutorial and we'll move on with this tutorial so we'll go into our view our posts and go into our edit.blade.php file and we'll get started with this one so again this is going to extend the master page so it extends at layouts uh, dot master and it's the master right, so let's go back and correct that. Next, we'll uh, I have the section, so add section content. Then we'll go ahead and stop our section. Okay, and here we're going to have an H1 tag that says edit post, so edit post, and then we're going to go ahead and create our form. So form. And with this one, we're going to directly target the model. So, same form model. Tweet, uh, actually not tweet, but post. And the array is going to be method. It's going to be patch which is the same as put and the route is going to be post.update so array route array posts.update and we're going to also pass in this specific tweet uh, posts ID so ID. Okay, so we have that. Next, we're going to do the same thing. I have a UL and I have four LIs, so four uh, LI times four. The first one, we're just going to go to the floor form label. It's going to be for the author. It's going to say author. This is going to be exact copy of the form for our create uh, view. So form text the author. Don't need that. Why don't we take that out? Need that. Go into this list item. Here we'll have the title, so label is going to be for the title, and its value is going to be title. I'm just get rid of that space there. Next we'll have the text field, so form text. It's going to be for title. And that's it. We don't need anything else. Next one, we're going to have the body. So form body. And here's going to be next, not form body. I'm getting ahead of myself here. Form label. And it's going to be for body. Body. This label is going to be body. Go ahead and put this on a different line. Put this on a different line. Next, we're going to have form text. text yeah, text area. And it's going to be for the body. Next, we're going to have a form 
submit button. So we have two buttons here, one to submit and one to cancel. So form submit and we're just going to say update and this one we're going to have a class. Let's go ahead and capitalize this because it's a button. So we're going to say array and this class is going to be say button button uh, say this one's success button button success next we're going to show a link to a route so link to route this route is going to be posts dot show so posts dot show I'm just going to say cancel cancel here. It's going to be for this post, so we'll say post ID. Then we're going to go to an actual class, so array this class is just going to be a standard. Let's do button button warning cancel it. Next after this UL we're going to go ahead and close the form. So form close and then like before we're going to display any errors that we may have, any validation errors. So if any if we have any errors create an old list and then we're going to say implode we're going to add our errors so errors all and inside there we're just going to say of course ally class is error and we're going to display our message so message so we'll go with that after that we'll just say and if and we're done so we hit control s to save that let's go back out to our application here and Go ahead and add a post. Let's create a new one. Let's do the same with the one we've been doing. Let's say Darth Vader. Let's say Star Wars. And here we'll say a good book. Or good movie, rather. Submit. And let's edit it. We'll just say a good book. Update. And we have an error because we spelled validator wrong there. So let's go into our controller and look for that validator. There it is right there. Control S. Go back out to our continue. And we'll say update. And it's going to throw an error because we don't have the second argument which is the um, rules so and it did it for our and created it so that's kind of weird but let's go ahead and go into the model and fix that so set our post model here's our array for our rules so we're just going to say that author is required T 
title is required. And body is required. That's it. Let's go back out and try updating it now. And we're still getting error. Let's refresh this and then try to update it. It's still throwing this error. Array merge. Hmm. Let's go back out to posts. Yeah. And then let's try to edit it. Let's say a good book. This is a good book. Let's say a good GUI. Update. We're still getting this weird error here. So we go back. It already says a good book. Okay, the reason is because we tried to return a view, not return a redirect to a route. So, looks at a redirect. our route. This is actually in our update function, so it redirect route and post.show is correct. So if we go back out, we are going to go ahead like this. Best movie ever, update, and then it takes us to show.blade. So sorry for that mistake, but we worked through it and figured out what it was. So in the next tutorial, we're going to go ahead and create our uh, show.blade, this function, this view right here. So stay tuned.